Hey folks, it's Ray, DCRamRecord.com here, and today i got a quick video to let you know that if you want to hook up your GoPro as a webcam on Windows, you can now do that. Back about a month ago, GoPro released that for Mac, uh, and then today they made it formal and final on production like for Mac, but in with that, they also released it on beta or in beta for Windows. Uh, so this video is just about connecting up the Windows side of it. I made a previous video up in the corner about connecting up the Mac side of it. Uh, but essentially, it allows you to use your GoPro as a webcam, which is something that you couldn't, oddly enough, do in the past. Now, you will need a GoPro Hero 8 Black for this. It will not work with any other one, the Max or the Hero 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. None of that stuff, it works. Only the Hero 8 Black. Um, though, if you're on a previous camera, GoPro did announce a new GoPro Live functionality today that does release that function to previous cameras. So that is, I guess, some consolation prize for you. Now, getting it set up is fairly straightforward. Obviously, you need a camera, you need a Windows machine, and you need a cable. But the cable is kind of important. Now, they're saying they're having some challenges with certain ports, USB ports on people's computers, primarily those that are the newer USB 3.1 uh, ports that are faster and better on all the things. But if you try to mix that with a USB 2.0 cable, problems that happen. Uh, so in order to figure out which is which, you just simply need to look inside the cable. Uh, a USB 2 cable, which is not what you want right now, you want a USB 3 cable, um, will have four pins on the bottom there. So if you look at the bottom, you see kind of four pins and then nothing else there. Uh, if you look inside the cable versus a 3, uh, 3.1 cable, 3.0 cable, a USB 3 cable, uh, will have nine pins in total. So you see the first four down below, just like the 2.0 cable, but then behind it, you see another five pins there. That means it's 3.0. In general, USB 3 uh, cables also have the blue plug there. That's a pretty good indicator as well. Uh, so once you get all that set up and running, you need to go to GoPro site. I'll put the link in the description there because it's darn near impossible to find this beta link uh, and download two things. One, you need to download firmware for your GoPro Hero 8 Black. And then two, you need to go ahead and download the GoPro Utility app. Uh, so downloading the firmware is just like any past GoPro firmware that you've downloaded manually as opposed to automatically. If you use a new firmware that just came out today, it won't work. Uh, trust me, I tried, it won't work. You have to use the slightly older firmware, um, like two days older, uh, to get it to work with the PC beta. So again, make sure you have that. I will link both of them in the description there so you go to the exact right spot. Once you've got that done, you need to install the GoPro webcam utility. Uh, pretty straightforward, it only takes a couple seconds to, again, also link down below there because it's again, impossible to find. So once you've got those two things up and running, then you need to plug in your camera. Uh, now, what I've got here is I've got the USB 3 cable going to my GoPro. I've got my fancy GoPro holy door on it. Uh, so this is a stock GoPro door that you see right there. It's got no hole in the side of it. Got this one here for like nine bucks off Amazon, also linked down below there. My favorite door ever. So that's why I can just plug it in. You'll need to ensure that the camera is powered up and uh, turned on when you go ahead and plug it in. Plug it in like this. And then over on your computer, you'll have a GoPro icon on the bottom there. Click on show preview. And in a moment, it will render the preview from your camera. Now it's using the wide angle lens. Uh, unlike the Mac beta, which allows you to switch between linear and narrow and wide and even super wide as well, uh, the PC beta at this point does not allow that yet. It took like two days after the release of the Mac beta to show that, to have that show up. So hopefully this will happen here as well, but it's just the wide angle lens. Also, it does not pull audio in. It doesn't do that on Mac either. Audio will have to come from something else, your microphone, maybe a headset, whatever the case is, uh, it's gonna come in that way but it is crispy. It's coming in at 1080p here, uh, and you can use it in more or less any app that you want to. So for example, if I go and crack open uh, Zoom here, there we go. I go up into settings and then go to a video and you'll see camera right there, GoPro. If you compare that to my integrated webcam, I mean, look at that horrendousness. That's just not awesome at all. Uh, and then you go to the GoPro cam and it's such a better angle. Like it just shows what's going on here. It's just a much nicer, crispier field of view. I've been using this on a lot of calls over the last month or so uh, on the Mac and I'll start using it now more on PC. And it's just, it's so much better. Usually it handles the lighting a lot better. Uh, so I'm, I'm a huge fan of this. I think it just gives also a bit of a different perspective um, as opposed to just like my giant nose on the screen. Now it's the whole scene, which is, is kind of cool. Uh, it also works in pretty much every other app out there. Uh, they did say right now the beta does not work with OBS though. So one thing to keep in mind if you're trying to stream, it's not working there on PC. It is however working there on Mac. And I showed that in my other video. But if you're at Skype, you got, here, I'll just pull up in Skype right now. Okay, so here we are in Skype. I'm gonna go ahead and choose up the top right there, integrated camera, and then go to GoPro camera. 
and then a couple seconds later it shows and, and you're done. It's it's as simple as that. Uh, and by the way, does the like the blur stuff work? Let's see if it works with the GoPro. It does work. Holy cow! So it actually works there. I can put it in office mode. I mean, all that stuff. It looks that looks ridiculous. A lab? I got a lab. I don't need. That's actually a much better lab. I'm not not gonna lie there. So um, yeah. I'll go to none for now. Finally, it's worthwhile noting that on the back of the camera, when it is in the webcam mode, um, it'll actually show webcam right there. Let's see if I can get this so you can see it like that. Yep, there we go. Shows webcam. It shows webcam on the front as well right there. Uh, and you can't do anything. Like you can't press record or mode or anything. There's no recording to SD card. It's just doing its thing inside your camera uh, plugged in the entire time. So once you're in webcam mode, you're in webcam mode, you can yank the cable out and go back to normal mode and do all the normal things that you want to do. So anyways, there you go. It's up and running. It's there. You can download it. Uh, all the stuff down in the description there so you can figure it all out. But I know a lot of you asked last time with the Mac version to let you know with the video as soon as the PC version is out and now it's out. If you found this video interesting, simply whack that like button at the bottom there. If you want more GoPro goodness or sports technology goodness, then go and hit the subscribe button so you get ding dong by the bell as soon as something new drops. Have a good one.